So guys, before we get started, make sure to like and subscribe this video. And if this is your first time playing the saxophone, in the comments, drop first time. Now, when you're starting to play the saxophone, you first want to make sure you have everything you need. So make sure you have a neck strap. Obviously, make sure you have a saxophone. This is what we call the saxophone body. This is what we call the saxophone neck. You want to make sure you have the mouthpiece. And this is what you call a ligature. So when first assembling, the first thing you want to do, the first thing you want to do is put this neck strap around your neck. You put that around your neck, and what you want to do is you want to clip it here on the back. And that's way you can help hold the saxophone up. Next thing you want to do is take this neck and put it on here, slide it in here. And if, it, if it's not, if it's not going on easily, what you want to do is put some cord grease, rub it around here so it can be very smooth. Not too much, just a little bit and slide in there gently. Okay. Tighten this up so it won't be moving around while you're playing. So you might need to adjust this when you put the mouthpiece on. But then after you have it like this around your neck, what you want to do is take the mouthpiece we want to take the reed and what we call ligatures. Now, there's our, these are uh, multiple types of ligature, but this is the basic one. So, what okay, what you guys want to do is take the mouthpiece and take the reed, and you line the reed up with the mouthpiece. So it's like this. Now, what you want to do is make sure you don't chip the reed. So you go slowly over the mouthpiece. And you place the ligature over the mouthpiece and the reed. And you want, now I put the ligature like in the middle and I tighten it up. Now what you want to make sure to do is make sure to lick the reed because you want to make sure it's wet. The reason why it needs to be wet is so the so your sound can, so the reed can be able to vibrate. That's how you produce the sound. So put the, put this, put the um, mouthpiece on the, what you call the cork here. You want to make sure like you have about this amount of space. And so basically how you tune the saxophone is say, if you want to, if you push the mouthpiece in more, it's going to be more sharp. If you pull the mouthpiece out, it's going to be more flat. But basically what you want to do is take the saxophone, put it on there. Just like that. Now, now try to blow a note. Now, how you do your mouthpiece, how you do your mouth, sorry, your armature. What I do is I put my top teeth right here on the saxophone. And, and look how I do my mouth. You know, my lip is kind of out like this. And you put the mouthpiece in your mouth, kind of halfway, not, you don't want to go too high or be on the tip of the mouthpiece, but kind of halfway. So, like that. So you guys can see. Now what you want to do is take your right hand, place it on the back of the saxophone, and put it right here for, to, for support. <clears throat> This was made to help hold the saxophone. So what you want to do, put your put your finger on the bell, on these on these little bells. So what we call this is one, two, three. And then you put your uh, pinky right here. And you see how it has rollers? So guys, what you want to do, and on your, so on your left hand, what you want to do, you put your thumb back here, 
This is for support. You put your finger right here. Make sure you're not holding this down. Just put your second finger here. We call it one, two, three. So your hand position should look like this. One, two, three. One, two, three. Make sure you holding it to the back. And what you want to do, make sure you're not holding these keys down. So make sure you have like an arch. Now, now look at my position. You want your back up straight. You see how my, my saxophone is going? You see how my hands is? I'm, I'm, I'm holding it. I'm not pushing any keys down. I'm just make sure, because what some people do is they actually hold this little bis key down. So what you want to do is make sure you have your keys, your hand properly on these keys without help holding any keys down. Now, we're going to play, the first note we're going to play is a note called C sharp. And basically, what C sharp is, you're not holding any key down. That's why it's a good note to practice. But make sure, even though I'm not holding any keys down, I keep my fingers on the on these pearls. And make sure you don't have your fingers like this. You know, you know, as a beginner, <clears throat> as a beginner, it's going to be normal to want to like have your hands all wild. But make sure you want to become a professional saxophonist. You want to um, build up your te technique. So make sure your hands are perfectly on the saxophone. So basically what you do is we're gonna play the note C sharp. So just first, just try to get a sound playing C sharp. That's no thing is you're not pushing down any buttons and it sounds like this. <laughs> So what you want to do is take in, take in a big air, and then go. Now see if you can hold this note for four seconds. Okay. Now you played your first note. Now this is what you call tonguing. Basically. Your tongue is hitting the back of the reed. And basically, you're hitting the tip and you're you're kind of closing the reed. Well, not not like pushing it hard, but you just put you're hitting your tongue on the reed like that. So it's like this. This is how you tongue the note. So what's happening is my tongue is hitting the reed like this. So try, try just holding the saxophone. I mean, just playing a C sharp with a whole note. Okay, after you try that, now try tonguing the note four times like this. After you got, after you get a good sound, basically what you want to do, the reason why you want to hold the notes longer so you can develop uh, a great sound. Now we're going to take the key of G. I'm going to teach you how to play, uh, let's just say the G major skill. Now this might be getting a little more advanced, but I think you guys can do it because I believe in you. So let's. What we're going to do, remember I said this is one, two, three. So we're going to start with G. So what you want to do is make sure your hand is like this. One, two, three. G. So what you're going to do is play G. Okay. Now we're, I'm teaching you guys the G major scale. Now we're going to play A. Which looks like this. One, two. And the only difference between G and A is I'm lifting up my third finger. Just like that. But again, you want to make sure you're not, um, you know, um, flashing somebody with your fingers like this. 
keep it close. The closer you keep your, you want to keep your fingers as close to the pearls as possible. So if you're going from G to A. So you go, but right now just focus on playing A, which is one, two. And it sounds like this. And, and I'm holding the notes for four beats. Basically, you want to try to practice this holding the note for four beats to help develop your sound. Okay. Now we got B. It's just one. Just like this. And you go. Okay, now we have C, which is just this middle finger, C. Now we have D, which is one. This is a little more tricky, it's one, two, three, on the left hand. On the right hand, it's one, two, three. And then you wanna make sure you have your finger on, this is what you call the octave key. So this is a little more tricky, but you wanna make sure you hold all the buttons down now, like this. And you got. to E, which is, now nothing changes with your left hand. It's one, two, three, with the octave in the back. Hold that down. And on the left hand, one, two, which is E, which you got. Now, the last note we have is F sharp, which is one, two, three, with the octave and this middle finger here. Okay, now I'm gonna play the whole scale. Sorry, here it start on G. So G, A, B, C, D, E, F sharp. Now you play it backwards. F sharp, E, D, C, B, A, G. Now, I'm gonna teach you, now throughout this video, you guys wanna make sure you watch it multiple times and slow this slow this video down remember to practice everything slow so you can get really good technique i'm gonna show you one more thing now they say you now this is um what you call thirds now they say you you know this is something that you shouldn't start right away teaching beginners but i believe in you guys you know when i was on um, 13 i just started saxophone i want to learn everything as quick as possible but but it's not about learning as quick as possible because you want to remember that music is a lifetime process but i'm going to show you guys this last thing this is a this is a trick that you will need to be using for the rest of your saxophone lives and careers it's called thirds you probably heard this sound in band it, it goes like this <laughs> Just for the sake of time, I'm not gonna show you the exact fingering, but I'm just gonna call out the notes and you can go back into the beginning of the video and see the, I mean, you can go back two, three minutes back and you can see the video of how I did the finger. So I'm just gonna call out the notes. G, B, A, C, B, D, C, E. D, F sharp, E. Now I will say this, G with the octave key, F sharp, A with the octave key, and G. And again, it sounds like this. So guys, this is how 
you start working on playing the saxophone. Saxophone, it's a long journey. It's, you know, they say it's supposed to get easier every day, but some days it gets harder and harder. But basically, guys, um, what you want to do, just practice this video. Practice. Let me know in the comments if this video was helpful to you. And um, if you guys wonder what saxophone I'm playing, I'm I'm playing a um, Yanagi Sawi from Japan. I'm playing the Jody Jazz mouthpiece. I endorse Jody Jazz mouthpiece, and I'm playing the Van Dorn Reed. And also, guys, you want to make sure you have a um, a soft reed, like a size two or two and a half, preferably two for beginners. And if your saxophone is not working properly, make sure to check a local shop. If you're interested in saxophone lessons and you're looking for a teacher to um, develop your playing, enhance your ability on the saxophone, feel free to reach out to me. My email is Benny, B-E-N-N-Y, saxable, S-A-X-A-B-L-E at gmail.com. So... Be sure to check the links in the description, guys, and feel free to reach out to me. And make sure to follow me on all social media platforms. I'm on TikTok, Facebook, and Instagram. So on TikTok, is Saxable, S-A-X-A-B-L-E. On Instagram, is S-A-X-A-B-L-E. Now, Facebook is Saxable Content, so it's S-A-X-A-B-L-E, C O N. T E N T. So again, I hope my name is Saxable. I hope you guys got some good information from this video. Let me know in the comments. Make sure to like, share, and turn on notifications. Peace, y'all.